If you're ever wondering what's going on around town, our next guest knows. Of course she knows. Welcome Post-Gazette scene columnist Natalie Bensavenga here with just a look at some of the few events coming up. And it's such a busy month. I know that you're so busy always. We love having <laughs> Natalie here. And Natalie, I hear that your grandmother also watches you. Okay, literally, she's just probably so excited right now. I can't even. Hi, Graham. Are you saying hi? <laughs> hi, Grandma. Nice to see you. <laughs> I just won, like, Best Grandchild of the Year Award. So hey, you're covered. I'm oh, good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that, no, to know that she's watching. <laughs> so you, you really do have a busy month? Yes. I feel like the winter typically feels like it slows down, but not everything has your started world. to now pick back up now that the holidays are over. Right. I think people are a little they're ca getting cabin fever. Right. And if you haven't been hit by the flu yet, then you can definitely go out because there's plenty to do. I know. Okay, so February 10th coming up yes. tomorrow. Is yes. that tomorrow? Okay, one night stand to benefit Attack Theater. This is one of my favorite parties of the winter season. Attack Theater is always known for their outlandish performances. It's a really exciting uh, time for them as well. And so what I love about this event is that you can room hop. They have VIP hotel parties. So you can go so into neat. the different rooms and everybody's got like a different decor going. It's all very fun. And this is at the Ace Hotel? Yes, which yeah. is one of my favorite spaces too in the city. And then everybody heads down to the gymnasium and it's a crystal chic attire they're asking mm. for this year. I don't know if that ties in with like your fourth year or third year event for when you do like if it has anything to do with the number. But point being, right. wear something blingy. Very cool. That'll be fun. <laughs> fun for you, too. Oh, yeah. And on I February 13th, the Epsilep yes. uh, Epilepsy Foundation of Western Pennsylvania has their Mardi Gras party. Yeah, this one's really fun. This is at the Westin downtown, and it's a huge party. And they basically transform the space into Bourbon Street with the big band and everything. And they'll have a big candy bar, and then you walk into the uh, ballroom, and it's just over the top beautiful decor to sit down dinner dancing it's a very elegant gala but it's super fun and you can really dress the part well also speaking of dressing the part mm -hmm. this is one of my oh. fun events we were talking about this just a yes. minute ago <laughs> okay so february 16th coming up we actually yes. talked with andy masick earlier this mm -hmm. week from science history center about He's this talking about uncorked yes history uncorked they are doing a roaring 20s event this year and it's going to actually be the opening celebration for the American spirits, the rise and fall of prohibition. And I don't know if you know this, I thought this was interesting, I got a sneak peek of the exhibit, and they said that in the 20s, because of prohibition, the speakeasy, speakeasies were the first time that men and women actually drank and socialized together. We learned that from Andy this and week. I thought that was so fascinating, that right. little piece of history, and so I'm, I'm trying to bring that with me when I go to this event, I'm getting, I wanna get all dolled up for this one. I mean, it's gonna be super fun. Amazon has everything you need, basically. We were just talking. I was, Rachel Carlson is also going to this event, and she said she got a, a very good dress on Amazon. Yes, good find. it's going to yeah. be a really fun one, and just to keep that those social contexts in mind, and then really to see the parallels between what happened with prohibition and then what's going on with the legalization of marijuana. It's really fascinating how the similar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's and very it's, relevant. And only because I've been to this event, I know how cool it is. They, they open up the Heinz History Center, so you get to explore the floors. All there's five music, floors. Food. And there's gonna be about 1,500 people. This will sell out, so get your tickets if you want to go to this sooner than later. Okay, so not long after that, the Penguins Foundation is hosting their Night of Assists charity gala. Yes, and this is going to be at the PPG Paints Arena. This is a new event, so they used to do something called skates and breaks or something. I can't remember the name, but it was basically a nice event where the team would actually serve people on the stage on the ice. But this year they're doing a carnival themed event, which I think is exciting. I love it when um, organizations, Penguins Foundation, when they change up events right. and really bring something new to the space. So there's gonna be a carnival, there's going to be performers. I'm hoping aerialists, cause that's like my thing. <laughs> Watching them, I aspire to be one. And <laughs> yeah, although never be able to oh, do anything never like that. Never, tried right? to do that once and that was a no-go. But it's gonna be quite an event and you know, for a great cause as well. And you'll get to see all the players too. Okay, so, and then just the next night, because of course you never get to slow down, right. the annual Dapper Dan din uh, Dinner and Sports Auction. Yes, they are actually in their 82nd year of this event, and it's going to be at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center downtown. And this is a moment where you can actually meet sports legends. You know, you'll always see people like Franco Harris just meandering on by, and they're actually going to be honoring Sidney Crosby this year as well. So it's a big event, and there's going to be a beautiful banquet. It's just a wonderful night, and it supports great charities as well. Okay, and then on February 24th, here's another great event, yeah. and this is the OCA Lunar New Year Banquet and Fundraiser. Literally hollow out a leg for this one because 
There's so much food at really? this. Oh, and it's all amazing. Chinese cuisine. I mean, it's like 20 courses. <laughs> it never ends. It's fabulous. And then on top of that, you get to live vicariously and pretend like you're working off the calories watching the dragon <laughs> dance and the lion dance while you're sitting and eating your weight in food. And it truly is an amazing event. And they're changing the location this year. It's going to be at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Oakland. So I'm really excited for that as well. It's one of my favorite events of the winter season. Uh, not too long ago, we uh, told our viewers about your nationally syndicated con column. How yes, is that going, your advice column? Thank you for asking. It's going so well, and it's been so much fun to really be able to broaden my audience and see what people are reacting to, and it's getting a great response. Thanks for, great. Thanks for asking. All right. Well, good job, Natalie. <laughs> Thank You're you. keeping yourself busy. And Trying. for more on what's happening around town, you can follow Natalie in the Post Gazette scene column, as well as online for her video series, Setting the scene. You'll also find her here with us on PTL with a look at what's coming up each month. Thank you, Natalie, as always.